in 2015. This team of Chalmers students got an impossible mission. Ruag Space Sweden wanted a fully functional Mars rover in less than three weeks to be shown off at one of the largest political events in the country. This summer, we were asked to take the next step to design and build a robot arm. This is the story of how we got the best summer job of 2016 by aiming for the stars. a roughly one meter long robot arm with six independent axes of movement, and we built him in about four weeks in June of 2016, with the aim of then presenting him at Almedalsveckan in Visby at the start of July. Bruno's gripper is designed so that its fingers will mechanically wrap around and securely hold large objects, whilst also being able to pitch around smaller ones and he's controlled via a six-axis 3D human input device, or as we like to call it, the Space Mouse. We found the Space Mouse to be both a fun and intuitive way of controlling Bruno, letting everyone have a go at playing with him. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how Bruno was born. After a bit of discussion, we decided on an initial design for the arm, and quickly got to work building a first prototype. We started work with very easy to use materials and tools, such as aluminium and laser cut plastics, to build, test and adjust our prototype until the design felt solid enough to proceed. As soon as we had a functioning structure with motors and gearboxes in their positions, we moved up to our lovely top floor hideout at Ruag to continue the work, replacing all of Bruno's plastic parts with new shiny laser cut aluminium, mounting him on the rover, and then eventually figuring out how to make him move. But before all that, of course, Bruno first needed some sort of hand to be able to pick things up. With the hand, we started out assembling a structure of three servos. Two of the servos controlled rotations in different planes, and the last one was responsible for the gripping movements of the hand. idea of a claw-like structure with three fingers, where the middle finger controlled all the movement of gripping. And after prototyping this in some sculptable plastic, we designed a more advanced version where the fingers were normally straight, but also able to wrap around objects to keep objects of any size securely in its grip. Our design resulted in almost a sort of self-assembly kit that we could cut out on our laser cutter and then assemble just using some screws and springs. All we had to do after that was to glue some high friction material to the fingertips and then to learn how to control our creation. We set up the control system using two small computers, one of which handles the connection to our space mouse, and the other of which does some small calculations on the input and sends the resulting commands to Bruno's motors. Whilst this may sound fairly simple, getting every link of this control chain to work properly was by far the most time-consuming part of the entire project. A lot of coding, soldering, and 
trial and error later, we finally got Bruno to do our bidding. We could control both the arm and the gripper smoothly using our space mouse. And after spending a bit of time just playing around, we were finally getting ready to introduce Bruno to the world. As soon as both us and Bruno had gotten dressed for success, we held a quick demo for our colleagues in the lobby. It was mostly successful, and we celebrated with champagne on our private rooftop terrace. After that, it was time to pack up and head out. streets of Visby, Bruno and the rover were a huge success. All kinds of people came up to him, wondering why we'd made him, how he worked, and of course, if they could try him themselves. Bruno also turned out to be very good at charming the hot shots of the Madonna. Among the people trying him were astronauts, Sweden's Minister of Space, and of course the boss himself. But most fun of all, Bruno was also an instant hit with the younger generation hopefully inspiring quite a few future engineers. We left Almadalem with a mixture of pride and relief. Sadness that it was over, but excitement for our next challenge. Brains 2016 had been a huge success.